All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakat Kurash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the I can push this word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and calls God and Jehovah Bahasham is in their name. Slaki is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, whom the word and calls Jesus, and Rakat Kurash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, other Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird to scatter his life foreigners, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of that nation to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, on the body of diet from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back at you with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, Cutting Twitter Post, What's Wrong With Being a Mole? You see, and hey, this lesson was inspired by this uh, Twitter post. Post I seen, you know, sometime last week, but um, I forget what the initial post was, but the response ended up going into uh, basically some 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 mo saying, but what's wrong with being, you know, G A Y, and then a dude replied, he said, uh, A I D S disease, God destroyed the entire city for that, and they, you know, to correct them, it was uh, five total cities. You know, Simon and Gomorrah in the cities round about. And, hey, that was, you know, that was on point. But then a guy that, you know, somebody else came and responded. And uh, his name was a black gay man, you know. And uh, it says, whispers, that didn't really happen, sweetheart. Most of the stuff in that book isn't real, you see. So, hey, we're just going to bring out some scriptures and, hey, cut this ideology. Because, hey, hey, first off, it's a lot of things wrong with being a part of that alphabet community, man. It, it leads to death. It leads to uh, disease. You know, and it's a uh, it's an inordinate affection. You know, it's a vow affection. You see, this is a uh, this is Leviticus eighteen and twenty two. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. And hey, that's the commandments of the heavenly Father that was given unto you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, man. You see, a, a, a our people are not supposed to uh, partake in that type of lifestyle. It doesn't lead to anything good. You see, a, if everybody on this planet was a mo. No, no flesh will live. Why? Because no one's going to be reproducing the natural way, the natural use of a woman and the natural use of a man. It says it is an abomination. It's something that's extremely hated by the heavenly father. You see, it says verse 23, neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there until it is confusion. So the heavenly father, he's not with the alphabet lifestyle and he, he's not with that uh, bestiality lifestyle. You see? So, hey, 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 and uh, to, to cut him, what's wrong with that? Hey, the Heavenly Father told you Negroes, Latinos, Native American, his people, to not do it. Deuteronomy 23 and 17, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. A sodomite is, is one that uh, participates in the acts of sodomy. And what's that? A man with a man and a woman with a woman. You know? That mo activity, you see? <laughs> so then when you go down to it, you know, he says, whisper, that stuff, that didn't really happen, sweetheart. Most of that stuff in that book isn't real. So some of the book is real, but some of it ain't, you know, and, I, and that's what our people like to do. They like to pick and choose. The scriptures talk about heaven. Well, let me not quote that one. But hey, our people like to pick and choose, you know, they, they want to hear the smooth words. It says most, some, so some is real. Okay, since you get to pick and choose, LMAO. <laughs> now he was actually on point. It said you wrote A's and, and God then had a smiley face or whatever, you know. But, hey, dude, he basically just trying to have an excuse to participate in that uh, in that in that lifestyle, man. And hey, the Heavenly Father, hey, as, a, as the dude said, yeah, the Lord destroyed a whole city. This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And what do we read when we go back into the book of Genesis and read about what was going down in Sodom and, and Gomorrah? Same things that were happening today. And what did the Heavenly Father do? He destroyed the city. Why? Because he was tired of, of, of seeing and hearing those uh, vile things that was going on. So what did he do? He judged it, man. So what does that mean for the, for this present evil world or for Babylon and great that, that, that which uh, which a part of his philosophy is doctrine is wine. That's a chief thing. The Heavenly Father just going to look over this transgression. No, he's going to rain down fire upon his place just as he did Sodom and Gomorrah, man. This is a. Uh, 
This is Second Peter 2 and 5. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in flood upon the world of the ungodly. See, the Lord, he's going to judge the ungodly. Hey, participating in that lifestyle is ungodly. You see, hey, you go back in the book of Genesis, it says every thought of man was to continually do evil. That's the people's mindset today. You think this place isn't going to get judged with that fire as well for his, for his wickedness? You think these people are not going to uh, reap what they've been sowing? You know, which are wicked works and wicked deeds. It says, verse uh, 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, and this is in the New Testament. And to ashes condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. So Sodom and Gomorrah, that hey, the Heavenly Father had that had those events take place and recorded in the scriptures as an example unto those that after should live ungodly, should live the same way. You see? That's what's wrong with being a mode. The Heavenly Father told you not to do it. And ultimately he hey, he, he left you an example. What happened to those people that do do it? You see, verse seven, it says, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation, the filthy conduct of the wicked. It says for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see, so a lot was delivered because he was righteous in a land full of, uh, of, of filthy, wicked uh, conduct, manners of life. Verse nine, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And that's what's going to happen to all you people that uh, that participate in such lifestyle. This Isaiah three and nine, it says the show of their countenance doth witness against them. You can see it on their face and they declared their sin at Sodom. They hide it not. So these people are proud, <laughs> flamed out. It says woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. And you're going to reap what you sow. You want to participate in that lifestyle. You're going to be, uh, you're going to receive that same judgment that those people were, that those people back then, you know, uh, partook in, you know, that fire, man. Because you're not taking heed to the correction, man. Hey, hey, hey scripts tell you pride is when one departed from his maker. Here it is. The heavenly father told you, don't do it. This is what's going to happen if you do do it. So don't do it in the latter day. But yet people and their pride. Still think they know better than the most high or, or want to tempt the most high that they can partake in such, uh, in such activity and get away. You see? But as we just read, the, the Lord knows how to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. This is Wisdom of Solomon 10 and verse 6. When the righteous, like it, when the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities. Speaking of a uh, lot again. Of verse seven, of whose wickedness even to this day the wasteland that smoke of is a testimony, and plants bearing fruit that never come to rightness, and a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. So a hey, back over there in the Middle East, I think it was uh, I think it was around you know, uh, I think it was around a Red Sea or so forth, you know. But uh, that land over there is still burnt. People go and burn the uh, the uh, soil or whatever over there. And it, it burns like purple or something, man. It, you have skeletal remains still left over there in that land. You have Lot's wife still over there on that mount, you know. And, and the scriptures tell us that it's like that right over there as a testimony unto unbelieving souls, you see. So, so no, the scriptures, it, it, it's no gray areas in the scriptures. The Lord confirmed his word. Hey, he left you the proof. That's why the people are without excuse. It says, verse 8, for regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt. Right. What's the wisdom? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Lord. Don't participate in this. Don't don't be a mo. It says they got not only this hurt that they knew not the things which were good. So they didn't regard the wisdom. And what are the people doing now? The men of the Lord are reproving uh, the, the, the vices and, and the wickedness of this world. And the people aren't taking heed. So they're going to they're going to they're going to get that hurt. It says, but also left behind to them a world left behind to them a slacky left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness so all them people that we read about that's a memorial of, of, of the foolish acts and the foolish and, and the wickedness that they were doing so that in the things wherein they offended they could not so much as be hid and the lord brought it to light but wisdom taking heed to what the lord says and, and what he ordains for us to part uh, to do to walk our conduct our manner of life should be delivered from pain those that attended upon her you see, so hey, listening to what the Lord says ultimately is going to get you is going to uh, allow you to find mercy in his eyes, man, and not get that hurt, that destruction that's soon to come. You see, 
this is a uh, this is a uh, Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore, the most high gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And these people, they hey, the Lord gave them over unto their own lust, their own desires. And ultimately what you're doing, when you participate in that activity. You're dishonoring your own body, man. Here it is. A woman has a womb on her so she can bring forth life. But yet she 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 bumping coochies, man ridiculousness 25 who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator and that's what these people do you see taking heed to esau edom and his philosophies and what he says is right the the, the false sense of liberties that he tells the people they worship a, a what man says more than what the heavenly father says they worship what man says instead of what the heavenly father says instead of worshiping the true power it says, for this cause, the most high, so like it says, and serve creature, the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, the most high gave them up into vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. A woman with a woman. Well, it's finna explain it. And likewise, also the men leave the natural use of a woman, having a family, bringing forth life, burnt in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So hey, hey, when you participate in those lifestyles, you uh, suffer uh, certain illnesses, diseases. Hey, the dude mentioned one of them, you know, and ultimately that judgment that the Heavenly Father is going to bring on those that are participating, man. It says, verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain to the most high their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So hey, these people are all the way gone, man. You know, they're doing things that a uh, not that that literally uh, destroy themselves. Verse 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, deceit. It's like a debate, deceit, malignity and whispers. And that's what a, a servant create the creator, the creature rather than a, the most high, the creator leads to ultimately idolatry leads to all these different things backbiters haters of the most high despiteful proud boasters inventors of evil things disobedient to parents without understanding covenant breakers without natural affection implacable unmerciful you see verse 32 who knowing the judgment of the most high that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them you see so hey, if you participate in these lifestyles the scriptures tell you that you're worthy of, of death man and that's what you're going to receive you see so it's a lot of things wrong with being a mode heavenly father ultimately told you don't do it man you see so hey lord willing this was just a quick and edifying lesson call a line block yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham harakah kodash the bottom of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone citations to all that i can put his word to surgery with charity shalom barakatham wa baba ball